Show. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Liz Money Show. We have lots of singles out there, especially in the African community. We are actually just used to basically moving the same direction. Are you in whatever age group that you're in right now? But technically, you're still looking for that right person in terms of you're looking for the right man, for the right woman, or maybe you have a long list of the things that you would like to see in your man or woman, but it's just not happening. You're not married yet and you're lonely. At the back of your mind, you still somehow want that marriage to say, okay, I really want to get married. That's if that's what you've decided. What I want to talk about today is people opening their options. In African community, we do know how this whole tribal thing works, right? When they say you have to marry someone that is from the same place, e.g. Nigeria, right? You have somebody that from Yoruba, from Igbo, from Aosa, from, you know, Edo State. And they're saying, basically, when I say they, your parents and the community are basically saying that you have to marry someone from that community or someone from that, you know, tribe or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, part of that could actually be part of what's hindering you from finding the right person to be with, to marry, because you're still there sitting down and wondering, when am I going to see this right person? But the right person is not coming along because why you are putting yourself in this tribal box of i have to marry someone from my place there are lots of people out there that are looking for someone like you trying to marry but they can't find it because you're not leaving your options available does that make sense it doesn't only have to be tribes we have other reasons why someone is not married e.g you have a long list of things that you want to see in your man or in your woman but because they're not checking that list you decided to stay single and then at 30 32 to 35, 36, 38, 40, you're still going by that list. Have you ever thought about it for you to just sit down and look at that list once again and say, what are the things on this list that I can actually stomach and not, you know, make it a factor for me to get a man? That's an option for you to be able to get someone quicker and faster. The age factor as well. You can marry anytime, but for a woman who is trying to have a child, men can actually marry anytime they want to. I mean, <laughs> we've seen it all over the place but women you know our time especially if you want to have children and there's some things that you want to do age factor comes in. now i'm not saying when you're 50 you can't find someone to marry obviously you can still get someone to marry because there's always someone for for someone okay but the market you know the swimming pool is a little bit is getting dry out there i'm not saying that you should settle for less but i'm only saying to expand your options men are scarce out there women are scarce out there there are no good men there are no good women but there are men and women that we can tolerate because when we say that good men good women right meaning that they have no flaws but that's a lie we have men and women that are out there with flaws so that's me telling you that you cannot have someone that is 100 just totally 100 who they are they have to show you who they have for you to be able to accept them so which means that you have to leave your option open another reason why you kind of have to bend your rules a little bit would be reason why you see some women out there now at their age they're actually settling to be second wife third wife fourth wife or maybe men that are marrying really really late and that's because they have some specifications that they are actually looking for in a woman and a woman that is married being the second wife second you know third wife and all that that's because she's settling nobody wants to be a second third wife or fourth wife or fifth wife they always want to have a man to themselves but there's some situations that will happen you know that will make that person jump into that decision places that you can go to actually look for a man or a woman first of all churches churches you can go to church not only just going to church to be a member because a member that walks in and walks out eh, you have no effect on the person that actually needs to see you as a person you know to be interested in you you kind of have to get involved in church being a worker in church if you're not a christian you're a muslim obviously mosque as well you can of have to get involved now if you're not a muslim and you're not a christian you can also go to grocery stores you know just shove around and kind of you know kind of keep an eye on the road don't go for people that are married already yo. because sometimes you have people at the grocery stores that maybe they don't have their ring on and maybe they have their kids with them and stuff like that just kind of like you know keep your eye out movie you can go to the movies you know where you will also see some you know the single people that are there coming to the movies to watch the movie by themselves and you can go to the park you can just walk around jog around hi you know that one is, is number one in the 
those books that one works all the time and you always see you know some guy also you know hopefully you don't fall into someone that's already dating somebody else hospitals hospitals is also a place where you can see single people that i just all they do is just walk 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 now i'm not saying for you to go and get sickle don't because of saying what to look for someone you're not getting for somebody to take care of you eh i used to have you because at the end of the day you end up with the bill so <laughs> but hospitals are places also where you can find single men and single women to actually date last thing that i want to talk about is date outside your race who says you cannot date outside your race who says you cannot date outside your tribe we've seen so many marriages so many relationships out there that are thriving they're thriving because these people are not sticking to just because i'm a nigerian i have to be married to a nigerian or just because you know i'm an american i have to be married to an american no if you're in nigeria why can't you message someone in italy you understand we are all on facebook you see a very nice looking guy everything you know not the fake ones with the fake profile but i'm talking about a real person you know you do video charts everything and all that you look at your friends you know that they have on, on their how they are communicating and stuff like that you understand what i'm saying but you can see an american who is not let's say for example you're an african now and you're looking for someone who is in italy uk or whatever be open this skin that you're seeing should not be a factor for loving somebody else if you're single a single man a single woman you're looking at me right now i'm telling you that you have to leave your options open because you are someone is not from your tribe does not mean that you can't love you and you can't love that person you've been searching you've been single for a while and been searching and it's like you're not saying what you want why don't you go ahead and take a step outside the box that you're in towards another race another tribe try it and i will congratulate you in advance good luck on your search